All right, let's get back to the other story that, of course, has been making headlines now for days. Harvey, the tropical storm continues to have a staggering impact. In fact, we just learned it has set a new continental United States record. Cedar Bayou, Texas has recorded just short of 52 inches of rain, 51.88. Today, a reservoir west of downtown Houston spilled over. First time it's ever happened due to the record shattering rainfall. And the remnants of deadly Harvey continue to menace both Texas and Louisiana on what is now this, the 12th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina making landfall in Louisiana. So far, more than 3,500 people have been rescued amid all of the flooding, but the storms full impact still unclear as officials are still trying to determine they're not ex exactly certain how many people are still missing. Meanwhile, the president arrived in the state to survey the ongoing devastation. It's epic what happened, but you know what? It happened in Texas and Texas can handle anything. President's visit follows a pledge of swift, swift action by the federal government to provide relief to the states that are impacted. Hurricane Harvey has dropped almost 50 inches of rain on Houston, forcing people out of their home and seeking shelter and any place that's dry. It is our mission to bring whatever they need all the way from Metro Detroit. Many of you have called asking how you can help, and our Hank Winchester is live in our phone bank. Um, and Hank, you have a way for people to do that. You've been telling us about it all day and yesterday. Uh, we certainly do, Kimberly, and the outpouring of attention from Metro Detroiters who understand what is happening in Texas has been incredible. We're well over $35,000 in donations, and as you mentioned, uh, we have partnered with the good people here from the Red Cross. All of the money raised here in Detroit going right down to Texas to help those who need it most. Take a quick look at where your donation is actually going. The Red Cross has hundreds of volunteers on the ground right now throughout Texas. This is what they do. In fact, the Red Cross has a long, long history of working as first responders all over the world. Most of Texas is underwater. Um, so donations are going to, it's being turned into food, shelter, emotional care, the supplies that they need. Websites like Charity Navigator will give you a glimpse into a nonprofit's financials, letting you know how much of your donation actually goes to those in need. Here's Melanie Ducanel with the Better Business Bureau here in southeastern Michigan. The American Red Cross is actually a BBBY's giving alliance. Uh, back out here live again. The number that you can call for our phone bank is 313-298-WDIV. 313-298-WDIV. The volunteers here from the Red Cross have been a huge help in working with Metro Detroiters to get your information, to take your donation, and to make sure all of that money collected here in Detroit makes its way down to Houston to those in need. Uh, we're going to keep our volunteers here through 630, and then all the information you need to know about donating and what you can do to make a difference in Texas will be on our website. Click on Detroit.com. For now, back to you. And eats, and we've teamed up with Arts Beats and Eats and the Red Cross to do something special for Houston this weekend. We'll be taking donations at the gates, so when you buy a wristband, Throw in a few dollars, Go ahead with them. and uh, with 300,000 people expected to attend, that money can add up pretty quickly, at least we hope so. And as the heavy rain continues, Lester Holt and the team of reporters for NBC News will have full live coverage ahead immediately following this broadcast at 630 on Nightly News.